in a high tower on the edge of the sea with my husband and my children she has stolen my happiness the pain is wild and fierce now but soon it will pass here, thank you burn out the memory Obliterate the past. The she-devil has no past. She is born afresh every morning. I will be what I want to be. I will mould a new image for myself from the earth of my creation. I will defy my maker and remake myself. name. I'm uh, Geoffrey Tupton. Uh, like a drink? Oh, thank you. Champagne, please. Uh, champagne, please. I'm a pharmaceutical representative, drug peddler. I travel around hospital and nursing homes, boosting the company's cure <laughs> What's the matter with your eye? Oh, a sty. Have you seen a doctor? Dozens. Useless. He said psychosomatic. Have you rubbed it with gold? No. Should I? Yes. You don't exactly rub. You roll. You roll the evil away. Does that feel soothing? Yes, it does. But Rita, I'm not evil. I know it looks evil, but that's the eye, not me. I expect there's something you don't want to see. Try it yourself. It's miraculous. It really is feeling better. Is it the cold? Of course. Your eyes. They're very unusual. Not really. You'd better keep that. But it's your wedding ring. And thank you. Thank you. I'll keep rubbing. Rolling. Rolling. Let's go to bed. Yes. Yes. It's just, I mean, it. it's so ugly. It looks so ugly. Still, it's not looks the count, is it? Oh, yes, it is. God, she must be desperate. <laughs> Hello. 
brought them off to bed? Yes, yes, they're fine. Poor little souls. Oh, no, you mustn't feel guilty. But I do. Darling, they'll be happy here. It'll all be all right. It'll all work out. As long as we have our love. and used to complain that I was an adventurous. That's what my wife said about me. Huh. Let's be madly unadventurous. Oh. Oh. Oh, what is it? Bubbles. A friend of mine, the only one I ever really got on with. She died three years ago. I don't forget her. She lived with her husband and her children, but he had an affair with another woman. So my my friend left home teach him a lesson mm. but he immediately moved the other woman into the house and made her pregnant mm. Mm. so my friend lost all that she ever lived for mm. her home and her husband and her children so she drank a bottle of whiskey and took pills Her mother found her dead in the bedroom she grew up in. <clears throat> it's every woman for herself in this world. <laughs> I shall never cry for her again. <laughs> I expect I was crying for myself, really. I have slept with two men in my life. My husband and you. I took strength from him, but I give strength to you. I prefer you.
You're a marvellous colour. The genie of the lamp. You're a strong swimmer. It's years since I've been in a pool. Too ashamed of that. Uh... Idiot. You no, know, Rita. You work wonders for me. Your eye is completely healed. I don't mean my eye. You have restored my faith. Idiot. Rip off. Somewhere for the rich to dump their aging relatives. You said they're looking for staff. They're always looking for staff. Nobody stays more than a few weeks. Fine. Rita. Rita. Why won't you stay with me? What about your wife? I don't like her. She doesn't like me. What has liking got to do with it? Rita, you give me the, the best birthday present of my life, and I... Uh, I've got too much to do. To do like what? I've got a battle to fight. Against who? God. God? <laughs> Lucifer tried that. Look what happened to him. Yes. But he was male. Now, who runs this place? An old bag call, Mrs. Trumper. Incontinence. Incontinence. It's the curse of the elderly. But I won't have it. Oh. I won't have it. Do you hear me? Yes. I want an instant report on all beds found damp or smelly. Right. But be careful. They're cunning, these old folk. They're like children. Are you used to children? Yes. And you feel it home here. 80 pence an hour, full board and lodging, and one bag of washing a week. You've got a very good colour. Yes. I've been working as a maid at a clinic in Switzerland. I did a lot of skiing. Oh. Well, you'll not do much skiing here. What did you say your name is? Lily Latimer. Oh, come along, Lily Latimer. You'd better meet Nurse Hopkins. They call it a nursing home, but it's more like a knockout home. Knockout? Yes, we knock them out. We stuff them so full of pills they don't even know where they are. Which is just as well, really, seeing as how they've nowhere else to go. <laughs> Do they get any visitors? Yes, until they've signed away the property. <laughs> well, Mrs. Latimer. Ms. Latimer. Lily. Lily Latimer. Pretty name. That's why I chose it. There she is, old Mrs. Fisher. She's one of the ambulance, those who can get around. Throw away your crutches, Mrs. Fisher. I need you strong and active. I have work for you. Mary Fisher, created a dream of love, but I let in reality. And love cannot survive reality. Hello, Mary Fisher. 
shot. Oh, fine, Signora. They do exactly as they want to do. Yes, they seem quite happy with the situation. I see. I shall have to get a move on. Okay. Yes, I will, Signora. Yes. Thank you. Who is that on the telephone? Oh, just the sweet shop, Signora. A calling about his bill. Silly man. Uh, no, thank you. No. Mrs. Fisher, this is Lily, our n new help. Lily, Miss, Mrs. Fisher. <laughs> she knows your daughter. Oh. Yes. <laughs> and this is Ruby Ivan. And Esther Sweet. Don't the gardens look nice? It's a nice day, isn't it, Mrs. Sweet? It's dusty, though. Dusty? Uh, yes, it, it is a dusty day. Dark, isn't it? What? Putting on the wall paint when the war's over. No. So kiss me and say you understand. Mrs. Fisher, I know your daughter Mary. Mm. The night. What's wrong with Mrs. Fisher? Boredom. Like the rest of them. Does she really need to take so much Valium and Mogadon? Listen, Lily, get one thing straight. They take these drugs for our benefit, not for theirs. I'd like to see how she'd do on vitamins. I can tell you how she'd do. She'd be up walking and pestering the life out of us. Hmm. Yet. So I said, oh, she will. I, mm. I knew you were going to be easy. But, um, these aren't my pills. Try them. What are they? You'll feel much better. Promise? Promise. I'll take them if you give me a glass of lager. Delicious. Fresh air. Fresh, fresh air, that's right, you're right. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I think you could walk without that. Without this, I'd fall flat on my ass. Try. <laughs> oh, no. Go on, try. No, no. Go on. No. I'll be behind oh. you. Oh. Oh. Promise. Go on. together for a change. We're alone together every night. Oh, no, no, you know what I mean. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just, just greedy. I just want you all to myself. You have me all to yourself. Do I? 
I try to pretend that other people matter, but really the only person in the world who exists for me is you. I'm totally selfish. Selfish? The love you've given those children? Oh. You're not selfish at all. Darling, they're your children. They're an extension of you. Oh, you'd be marvellous. No, I've only done what any woman would do. Any woman in love. Mm. Just wish we could go away together, just the two of us, just for a nice break. What are we going to do about our work? Our work? Well, my office runs itself and, well, basically you can work anywhere. Well, listen, listen. How are you getting on with your new opus? <laughs> well, I think it's the most truthful and poignant thing I've ever written. Thanks to knowing you. Excuse me, please. The children. Oh, the children. Oh. All right, what's going on here? Nickel? Andy? <coughs> what the hell is... Oh, my God, they're drunk. See, how did this happen, huh? How could you allow this? It's all right, then. <coughs> Christ! Oh. Uh, all right, don't worry, don't, don't worry. No, darling, think what the poor dears have been through. <coughs> oh. uh. Come on, come on, let's go to the bathroom. Come on, come on. No. All right, come on, it's okay. That's a good... I should never forgive Ruth for abandoning her children like this. I mean, can you explain to me how a woman can do that? It's pure malevolence. Not my clothes as well. Maria, could you get... Maria! Mary Fisher, beware the she-devil. One day, you will see malevolence beyond your wildest imagining. Good night, Esther. remember. Funny thing to say, Anne. Why? Because I don't think anybody ever 
ever knows Mary, least of all her own mother, which is me. <laughs> How is she? Oh, she's very well. She has a new lover. Disgusting. She's no better than a she-cat on heat. Always was. She belongs to the gutter. And I say that advisedly, because so do I. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't you go and see her? Well, you've got the right. I'll put you on the train. Oh, no, it's too far. Nah. Nonsense. Mm. You could do it. Whee! <laughs> Butterfingers. Oh, throw it straight, you old toad! <laughs> <laughs> Look, get with us. Oh, You've transformed them. Oh. They just didn't realise what they had in them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm leaving now. You're leaving? Yes. I've got a job at Lucas Hill. Used to be a prison for the criminally insane. They called it a hospital now, but it, it's just the same. I should feel at home there. You'd love it. They're always looking for staff. Why don't you come? I will. When? Imminently, I should think. Lily, what are you up to? I'll tell you one day. <laughs> Bobo really doesn't want to you hear anything. what Bobo wants. No. Mm -hmm. How much to pay him? I don't think that's any of your business. a week, Signora. Bet she makes you earn every penny. <laughs> yes, she stole my man, you know. My second husband. I was her age then. Tuna fish. <laughs> oh. Um. Well, uh, how is the nursing home, Mrs. Fisher? I understand it's very... It's a rubbish dump, full of rejects, like me! Andrew, calm down. Come on. Thank you. Look what you've done. You've ruined it, you foolish child. You silly little girl. It was no good anyway. No. Oh, 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 Mrs. Trumper, Mary Fisher speaking. This is inexcusable. This is Nurse Latimer. Mrs. Trumper is out. Oh, well, Nurse Latimer then. How could you send... ...a senile woman off like that alone? Mrs. Fisher is not senile. She is marvellously improved. And I would expect you as her daughter to be glad to know she is. Uh, uh, yes, well, of course I am, but... Um, look, what do you expect me to do? There's no train back tonight. Then you'll have to put her up overnight. Out. Incontent. 
sentence. This is long-term leakage. I can always tell. How long has this been going on? About a month. I didn't like to tell you. Poor old Mrs. Fisher. Well, she can't help it after all. You were fired. But Mrs. Trumper, I beg of you. It's out of the question. On no account will I take her back. Mrs. Trumper, what am I to do? I'm not a nurse. She doesn't need nursing. She needs TLC. Yeah, is that a new drug? Tender, loving care. That's what your mother needs. TLC. Chin Chin, Mary Fisher. Your cup runneth over. One crisis follows another. You can hardly believe things can get worse. But they will. Mary Fisher, they will. I shall see to that. murderers and a few arsonists too fascinating yeah, can be a bit dangerous of course still anything's better than looking after old people i'm sure do you think it might be a bit warmer if we shove them together is that all right i think that's a smashing idea talent. You think so? No marvellous imagination. You like it then? Well, it's it's just... What? No, I'm not criticising you. It. You don't like it? No, it's just that I'm... It's just what? Look, as I said, I'm not criticising... No, no, it's just what? Mary, don't get angry. I'm not getting angry. Because I believe that one day you could write a really wonderful novel. Oh, do you? I really do. Oh, I'm very pleased about that. What's wrong with that one? It's not like life. Like life? This is more of a wishful film. Isn't our life together fulfilling our wish? Our life? Oh, our life is, yes, of course. Well, but, but, I mean... Then wishes can be fulfilled. Uh, yes, yes, but even so... Couldn't you just sometimes make your heroes a little more serious and... a little less tall? And more like you. No. No. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try. 
I'll try for you. Soon. Sorry, I'm keeping you awake. No, it's all right. What are you studying for? For a very special purpose. I finished for tonight. know where you get the energy. I'm ambitious, that's all. But you're not thinking of leaving here, are you? Well, not without you. <sighs> Women like us should stay together. People think that just because we look a bit different from them, that we don't have the same feelings, the same n needs. We could start a freak's union. <laughs> we could be fandom members. <laughs> or we could be different. Or we could rebuild our lives. And ourselves. How? Listen. I have a husband. He has my children. He is a rich and beautiful mistress. And he lives in a magnificent house. He is an accountant. His business is very successful. His office handles vast sums of money. I have a key to his office. nervous now, but this will soon become a familiar ritual. We are about to perpetrate an enormous swindle. Now, the bigger the swindle, the greater the need for business efficiency and attention to detail. We must compile a list of clients for whom the office holds considerable sums of money, and then, week by week, we shall transfer those monies from the client's account to my husband's personal deposit account. But when he sees his bank statement... No, he only ever examines his current account. He's very slack about the deposit account, and never checks anything but the final figure. The final figure will always be what he expects it to be. But how? If you're transferring the client's money into the account, then the final figure will always be growing bigger and bigger and bigger. No, because, you see, the deposit account is a joint account with me. He never closed it. Week by week, the money will go in, and week by week, the money will go out. I shall draw it out. I shall burrow into his wealth like a termite into a juicy pine tree, leaving it hollow and dead. You'll be rich. We shall be rich. But that lies ahead.
chocolate cake, eh? Hey, listen, you two, if you want something to eat, you better come down now. <laughs> ah, they're good kids, really. They just needed a bit of discipline. You happy, darling? Ooh, what more could a man ask, eh? She has got to go. Go where? I don't care where. Anywhere. We shall start an agency. An agency? We shall provide work for women with unused talents. Women whose talents have been spent on men, on children, on domesticity. We shall liberate women from love. I don't believe it. What's that? My novel's been rejected. You're kidding. <sighs> Too realistic for my readers, they're saying. What rubbish. Ace of Angels is one of the best things you've ever done. They want me to change it. Change it? <laughs> change your publishers. Darling, the way we live costs money. Mary, I know how much is in your account. You're one of my richest clients. <coughs> I don't want you to worry about money. Now, if it's necessary, I'll spend more time at the office. Maybe now and again spend a couple of nights over. But I want you to concentrate on writing. Darling. Mary, you must not waste your talent writing trash. No, darling, listen. I'm never going to write Anna Karenina or Madame Bovary. But you must try, Mary. Try. For me.
Bobo. Mm -hmm. You'd never leave me, would you? heaven on earth but love can only create a hell I shall teach you that lesson I the she devil I have already started but I have a long long way to go It seems the dark 